Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're doing good this evening. I hope everything is going well for you. Well, in today's video, normally I, I love talking about gardening. That's what my channel is about. But I also do talk about uh, raising animals. I genuinely believe for organic gardeners, raising pigs and chickens and, and rabbits and things like that, they go hand in hand and they just benefit each other so if you have recently got chickens and uh, congratulations first thing but i want to share with you something that is that has helped me that i've learned through the years now one thing you have to understand about chickens chickens will peck each other and chickens can get actually be downright mean about it and so if you ever run into it where you've had an injured chicken and the other chickens are pecking on it um, this little trick here might actually save their life so what happened to this little girl some of my chickens are going through molt and real real quick molt is just something that happens I, I've, I'll, I'll put some pictures in to kind of show you what molt is if you've never seen it oh she wants to go away um, but it's just something it's it's it has to do with their egg laying cycle i'm not going to get into it real deep but this one had started going through mold well i came out to feed them one evening and she was off by herself and she wasn't moving and so i went over and i looked at her and her back was actually bleeding and she had a hurt leg and so i, I got her i checked her leg nothing seemed broken or anything but she was she was bleeding and so sometimes when chickens see that that just it just makes them peck at that chicken for whatever reason and i actually had one that died so i did this and uh, i've done it three times each time it has been successful and so i'm going to share it with you today i'm not a vet i'm you know but but this has worked for me in the past so let me show you it gets you up here you can see that that gray on her feathers okay you can see where she had molt now all of her feathers they're coming back in they look really good and so uh, <clears throat> i'm going to set her down so what i used actually was this never sees i had a can i don't know what made me do it I, it just I thought if, if I could cover that up, maybe they wouldn't peck at her, and they didn't. And so I tried with another chicken, and then she's the third one that I've actually done it with. And like I say, she completely recovered from all that. She still has a little bit of a limp, but uh, she gets along really good. The other chickens don't, don't uh, mess with her. And so they do make a spray. Uh, for that you know to keep other chicks or chickens from packing them i don't know how much it costs and i highly suspect i'm going to try this if this ever happens again which i hope it don't but if it ever happens again uh, uh just regular grease like you would put in a grease gun like a tube of grease because it would be a lot cheaper never sees you know can get expensive i got this can gave to me on a job so uh but I think that I'm not going to take a chicken to a vet. I mean, I'm just not. So it, three times this has saved a chicken's life for me. So if you ever run into that, if you're, if you're a, a beginning chicken farmer, uh, just think about it and you might save your chicken's life. All right. Well, hey, you guys have a good night and uh, I, I hope everything goes good for you. Talk to you later. See ya.